Alrighty, we went and we got ourselves a haircut. You can now see our big-ass forehead again. We also went back to our old color of gold. Honestly, I hate this haircut as well. With the hat on, it's it looks awful. Yeah. How do you take a picture? How do you take a picture? There we go. But does that count as a... Whatever. Okay. <sighs> Cheers to my big ass forehead. Go right here because it's closer to the path to the Titan. We'll heal up. And we'll go beat that dark flying type. I think he's the dark flying type. He's dark flying type and water flying type. I don't know, but he's a flying type. At least I look more mature from the back. But the front, I look god awful. <laughs> You know, business in the front, party in the back. Pretty sure that's how it goes. Anyways. Motherfucking creatures. I'm I'm kinda sad that they didn't bring back repel. Because, you know, you, you'd have Repel equipped, and then, like, the Pokemon would see you coming, and they would just run away. That would be cool. Item. Fucking move. And we missed. And we landed in the drift room. Things aren't going good for us right now. This is Karyadon, right? It's a cave. You know we have to go to the cave, right? Pretty sure we we went even deeper. Back through the cave. Okay. Pathway up. Pathway up. Eat my dust, ghastly. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Jokes are awful, I know. Come at me, giant burb. I guess they tried to make a stork. But he literally looks like a bird with a giant bib. Shit. Good choice with the black. Okay, good choice. Good choice.
Excuse the mic noise. It's even worse now. It's even worse now. Oh, God. Uh, give me a second. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. Um, I just straight up unplugged it and plugged it back in. Okay, Mr. McTacos, you managed to get to the Titan somehow, huh? Listen, man, listen. I hear the doubt in your voice, even though it's my voice. I hear the doubt in your voice. I don't like I don't like your negativity, man. Arvin, you can like leave. Your negativity is not welcome here. Okay? Okay. If he's negative one more time, we are not helping him at all for the next 20 parts. So, that's the open sky titan. Wait, is that the titan that was, that's been dropping all those boulders? Probably, man. I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its attention on you, little bud. Don't call me little bud. I have enough power in my left hand to slap you. It, uh... It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like, with uh, some kind of ma mystical metal power or something. Meal power. Not metal power. I can't read, okay? <sighs> so we'd better get ready to go all out. Oh, honey. You don't even know. My fluffy little bastard here is gonna murder this bird. Is he seriously trying to communicate with a big ass bird? Not gonna work, are we? The only thing it knows is pain. Think Hulk Hogan once said. Feel the pain! Something like that. But, uh... Yeah, the bird's dead. Sheepy and your rock salt dude just murdered a bird. How does that make you feel, Arvin? How does that make you feel? He killed the bird. Fucking Flaffy doing a little dance. His bag is like way too big for him. Yes. Way to go, Mr. McTacos. That's me. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? There has to be more of that mystical herb it ate in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. I knew it. Did you know? Look at that herb. You know, instead of eating it, smoking it might be a bit better. Just saying. Uh, it really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. You're making a mistake by eating it. Just saying. Woohoo! We did it. Thanks, Miss Me. Yeah, thanks, Me. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter mystical herb. 
great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing. Mmm. Blood flowing, you say. And that warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosts the immune system and something else. Or so it says. If I can just sip, slip, and slip this into a sa- Ha! If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. He's talking about his dog. His dog got beaten up. Well, what are we waiting for, Mr. McTacos? It's time to dig in. Let me wrap something up for us. Whip something up. Ah, God damn it. I'm not even going to say that. And Bob's your uncle. Bob is not my uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb filled super sandwich. It comes with a side of Titan badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. I'd prefer fries, but you know. That's exactly what my face looks like right now. It's okay, we're not going to eat the sandwich anyways. Listen, listen, don't hate it, don't hate the drip, okay? Arvin, don't, don't be hating on Coriadon? I think, I think that's the, I think this is the one yeah okay yes I was right haha -ha. here you go is it trying to say thanks or something yes it is well good thing I made extra you're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Coriadon could have a sandwich, okay? You totally did. Same. Oh! It could ride on water now. Nice. Man, those mystical herbs really do pack a punch, do, do, don't they? God damn it. I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really, I'm really up the creek. He meant Shit's Creek, but you know. Don't you dare touch that. Uh... So much anger. Probably put the backpack on. It probably weighs him down so he's not angry all the time. I guess I should at least tell you the full story. I don't want to listen to the full story. This is Mabo Stiff, my partner. feeding him some sandwich because it uh, yeah because the herbs do the same thing to Coriadon well it does the same thing for the dog as it does for Coriadon essentially trying to make him feel better because he got beaten up pretty badly in the crater just like Coriadon was yeah real buddy was hurt real bad never fully recovered Pretty much the same thing. Have you tried Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. Uh, it's the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. Not even his other Pokemon. His other Pokemon are just tools of destruction to defeat the Titans. So I promised I'd make him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online, read books, looked all over. 
and tried every cure and remedy I could find, but nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the mystical herbs. He's literally, he's literally a white brock. I'm just realizing this now. He is literally a white brock. You've done your research. Yeah, see, I found this book in my mom's lab. Uh, Area Zero is home to wondrous herbs that intensely impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herbal Mystica, or Mystic Herbs as I call them, and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest the herbs, were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large, strong, and we call these Titan Pokemon. <clears throat> it's the book full of crazy stories and legends and things and stuff nobody usually believes. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. According to this book, eating all five Herbal Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, uh, Dogo's paws were cold as ice before he ate the last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you've done eating, bud? Yep, yeah, you can see. He can see! It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Turns out Arvin does have a heart. Oh man, I'm so, I'm so glad. Oh, look at him now. We're just gonna we're just gonna hurry this along. And his mom calls us. Hello, me. This is Sada. Yeah. I detect that Coriodon has regained more of its original power. When riding upon it, it seems you should be able to move across water. Uh, yeah, you can even jump when it's in water. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Karayadon. And we're done. Okay. Uh, we're pretty much done in this area. Like we could jump down and face the next titan, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do it properly by going through this way. And all that. Um. But since that's done. Just reset the map. Yeah, that's the Pokemon we just fought. That's a... I don't know what that's called again. But... I'm going to set that as a destination. We're going to go there, fight the psychic type. I kind of hope it's an Eevee. Well, maybe. I don't know. I kind of hope it's not an Eevee, just to see what, what, what it is. Ooh, that was bad. We'll take a look at the ice type too. Oh. Yeah, it's only one star we're not dealing with it. Even though that's a I believe it's a rookity. It's the it's the bird Pokemon that was introduced last generation. See, you spend most of your life playing Pokemon, and you, and you could like do the hey, what who's that Pokemon? 
which is pretty much what this what this thing is whenever it shows you a freaking Pokemon. It's like, hey, who's that Pokemon? It's another Eevee. We do need we do need more Eevees though. We do need more Eevees. Because we have two bug Eevees. We're going to catch this one, so then that'll be a total of four Eevees we have. One's already an Umbreon. This one will be an Espeon at some point. Oh, we can just throw a Soothe Bell on it fucking heat of candies later. And I thought I had a bad hair day. Look at these guys. Who brings a squirrel to a dog fight? Seriously. Beautifully evil. Okay, we got a good amount of small candies, that's good. We'll check out that other ice raid. Then we'll delta to the Pokemon Center that we're heading to next. Oh, I we can go across water now, right? Oh, I can jump up here. A repeat ball. Great. We don't have a water type, right? Or a flying type, so Gyarados would be a good choice. Oh shit, give me good. Bond Sly. I do need a Bond Sly. Look nice, they go snow runs trainer. Oh, it's not very effective now, but oh. They literally pelted this poor bomb slide.
Okay. Okay. <sighs> what Pokemon are we going to use to beat the friggin' fire dudes? Because I just realized we don't have a rock type, we don't have a ground type, we don't have a friggin' water type. Another gimme go over here? Oh, there is. <laughs> Confused, Ray. We have one more raid we're going to do, and that's this dragon raid right here. I swear, though, if it's another Eevee. It's another Eevee. Honestly, fucking Totodile's the one that's gonna take him on. Cause I don't even think Dosh Bun has uh, has a good fairy type move. Or even a fairy type move. Oh, we may actually have a challenge here. I like. Evie got pelted. Evie's gonna continue to get pelted. The old, literally the only thing that we have to show up to this fight. Yeah, the best the best choice for the best choice for fucking getting a Terra type for your Pokemon is I would have a Terra type that offsets the super effectiveness. Let's say let's say this take this Dragon Terra Eevee, for instance. We would turn him into a Glaceon. Mainly because Glaceon's biggest weakness is fire attacks. You're going up against a fire Pokemon, and you have Glaceon. You use the Terra to turn it into the Dragon type. So it makes a lot of sense. Tell me. Austin Power already evolves into Hariyama. Hell yeah. Dude. Look at them thighs. If only Austin Powers. If only Mike Myers had thighs like that.
we'll do one more. We'll give the other three to Casper. Rest. Our dead dog wants to learn rest. Okay. Uh, go here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah.